you learned how to use jQuery to call simple web services and web methods in lesson 910. You need to use a slightly different technique to call a web method that returns a value. To begin this lesson, open the MegaChat project from your sample files folder. And open default.aspx in source view if it isn't open already. Now remove all of the code from the get messages function. This code currently uses the page methods object that is generated by the script manager control. You're going to replace this code with a direct call to the get messages web method. Add the following code to the get messages function. Dollar dot Ajax begin brackets begin curly brackets type colon post comma URL colon default dot ASPX forward slash get messages comma content type colon application slash json comma end curly brackets end brackets semicolon this is very similar to the code that you used in the previous lesson that's lesson 910 this code will call the get messages web method but you still need a way to retrieve the return value after the method has executed. Add the following code on the next line inside the curly brackets. Success colon function begin brackets value returned end brackets begin curly brackets display message value returned dot d end brackets semicolon end curly brackets comma the success property defines a function that will run only if the method succeeds asp.net web methods return an object with a single property called d which contains the value returned you are using this property to call the display message function which displays the return value on the page. Now add the following code on the next line. Error colon function begin brackets end brackets begin curly brackets alert an error occurred clear interval message timer end curly brackets the error property defines a function that will run if the web method returns an error this code simply displays an error message and stops the chat window from being updated the clear interval javascript function stops the timer that calls the get messages function every second test your code now by viewing default.aspx in your web browser when the page loads enter a username then copy the address from your web browser's address bar Open a new web browser window. Navigate to the address that you copied. And enter another username. Then position the windows side by side and chat between them.
the test messages are displayed by your JavaScript code without refreshing the page. Your Ajax calls would now work without a script manager control. You now have all of the skills that you need to implement Ajax features in your own applications, either by using controls or by using JavaScript code. Using Ajax, you can make your interfaces faster, more efficient, and easier to use. Note that it is often best to use the traditional request and response architecture as a starting point before applying Ajax features. Ajax features add a lot of code and complexity that can make the initial development of your applications harder. It can be easier to add Ajax to a web application once you have a solid foundation of working and tested c -sharp code. Close your web browser windows now and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 911 directly call a web method that returns a value using jQuery.